For the equation, we have x here in exponential and x equal the square root of x. So let me try here. So what do we have? So let me rewrite x in exponential and x is equal to the square root of x. We take in a ln both sides and we have a ln uh, x in exponential ln x is equal to the ln square root of x. And now uh, in this side, so let me write one extra step. ln x in exponent ln x is equal to the ln and instead of the square root of x, we are writing a x in other radical one over two. So we write into this uh, x in the power uh, in the fraction of four. And now, uh, according to the rules of the exponents, this exponent can become as a multiplier is a ln x times a ln x is a equal to one and a half ln x. And in order for us uh, to solve this equation, we make one side equal to zero. So this side we are moving to the left or we are subtracting both sides by one and a half ln x. And this equation takes uh, this form ln x times uh, ln x minus one and a half ln x is equal to zero. Since we have ln x in a both sides, we can factor ln x. We can write ln x here is a ln x minus in a one and a half is equal to zero. And when we are in this situation here, according to the zero factor theorem, ln x, we can write the ln x is a equal to zero. And if we write in this exponential form is a ln x is equal to the e in a zero. So here is a e x e ln, e ln is one, one time x is a x, and e in a zero is one. So x is equal to the one. So one of the solution, one of the solution x is equal to the one. And the other solution, we take this ln x, so we take in a ln x minus one and a half is equal to zero. So ln x is equal to one and a half, then we are adding both sides one and a half. And if we are writing in the exponential form is the ln x is equal to the e one and a half. So based on this one here, x is equal and e in a, in a power one and a half is the square root of e. So those are the two solutions. So x is equal to one and x is equal to the square root of e. So this uh, equation here has a two to a solution. So x is equal to the one and the x is equal to the square root of e. Those are two solutions.